Walking around after dark is not scary anymore. Some streets actually look shinier and brighter at night than they do during the day. Actually, a recent scientific evidence shows that older people living in areas with bright outdoor lighting take sleeping pills more often than people who live in dark areas. Let's talk about light pollution. According to Wikipedia, light pollution, also known as photopollution, is the presence of anthropogenic light in the night environment, which in the real-life language means there is a lot of light at night. It is called pollution because of the various problems it's responsible for, and it can take different forms. The glare, which is an excessive brightness that causes visual discomfort. If you are a driver, you know this one well. It looks something like... The sky glow, which is the brightening of the night sky over inhabited areas. The light trespass, which is a light falling where it's not intended to or needed. And the clutter, which is a bright, confusing and excessive groupings of light sources. Again, the strike against the drivers, it makes it hard for them to see where they're going. And this is mostly because of the poorly designed street lighting or because of the very bright highway advertisements. You know, the ones you really want to go like, oh, and wow. I mean, how much energy do you waste in these kind of situations? A lot, right? Well, we also waste a lot of energy with all the artificial lights. The International Dark Sky Association estimates that at least 30% of all outdoor lighting in the US alone is wasted, mostly by lights that aren't shielded. That adds up to 3.3 billion US dollars and the release of 21 million tons of carbon dioxide per year. And that's only in the US. Can you imagine the numbers if we take a look at the worldwide picture? But light pollution doesn't affect just our wallets it has other downsides as well. And the first one is that we cannot see the stars. And if you think this is no biggie, that's probably because you've never lived in a dark sky area. A dark sky is very relaxing. It helps us to cope with a hard day of work and it reminds us how small and insignificant we are. Basically, a dark sky is a very good and free antidepressant. It's like a giant open Xanax party. Now, believe me, I really wish that not being able to see the stars and enjoying the romance would be the only downside of light pollution. But it's not, of course. Actually, it goes from sleep disorders to cancer. See, the thing is that our brain has evolved during millions of years to be what it is today. And it is perfectly scheduled to enter into a night mode when the sun goes down. When the moon and the stars shine upon us, we don't secrete the same hormones. That's what helps us to fall asleep in the evening and wake up and stay awake during the day. And it helps us also to stay healthy. But if you throw an artificial light in the equation, it quickly gets messy. So what happens is that when we see the light, our brain knows that we have to stay awake. So it gives us some hormones that help us to do that. This can cause sleep disorders, which come with a bunch of friends you'd rather not have on your family picture, such as depression, obesity, diabetes, headaches, and hypersensibility. And the more you get exposed to artificial light at night, the more trouble there is for you. In 2007, the International Agency for Cancer Research classified night work as a probable human carcinogen. But we don't need to work the night shift to get cancer. Light pollution and hormonal disorders are linked to the higher rates of breast cancer and prostate cancer. Women living in well-lit neighborhoods are 37% more likely to fall victim to breast cancer than those living in darker neighborhoods. And that's enough for us humans, but you know, animals also suffer from all the artificial light because not all of them live in the forests and even if they do, well, Cheryl will tell us more about it. 
Pollution from artificial light sources can disrupt the activities of lots of different wildlife, from nocturnal predators and prey, to dawn and dusk singers, to adorable sea turtle hatchlings. When baby sea turtles leave their nests, they find their way over the beach by looking for the bright light of the moon or the horizon over the ocean. But human-made lighting is much brighter, so many sea turtles get confused, turn around, and head inland. If you'd like to learn more about the negative effects of light pollution on wildlife, come on over to my channel, The Roving Naturalist. Thanks God there are many ways to save these baby turtles and ourselves. First of all, of course, we should avoid unnecessary indoor lighting, especially in empty office buildings during the whole night. Then we can also install quality outdoor lighting. The emphasis is on quality. Better lights could reduce our use of energy by 70% and save billions of dollars and drastically cut our carbon emissions. LEDs and compact fluorescent lights can help reduce energy use and protect the environment, but only warm white bulbs should be used. You can check on the package, it should indicate a temperature of less than 3000 Kelvin. Outdoor lighting should be fully shielded and direct the light down where we need it and not up onto the sky. Fully shielded fixtures can provide the same level of illumination on the ground as unshielded ones, but with less energy and cost, and less light pollution. And even better than some good lighting is no lighting at all. For example, in Paris, the storefronts and office buildings have to shut their lighting during the night, that is between 1 and 7 am. Talking about France, the group Le Clan du Neo actively shuts down signs that stay lit all night long by lowering the levers located outside the stores. This initiative, which has spread through various countries in Europe, always comes with a flyer explaining what is light pollution and why we should care about it. And that's it for today, thank you for watching! Now go show some love to the roving naturalist who collaborated with us on this video. Check out her channel and find out what is up with ecological light pollution. Don't forget to show us some love too by liking the video and sharing it and don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next video. And see you then. Bye bye.